I'm here with the LSS-14. I finally got a little bit of time to work on it, so I'm going to do so. Uh, today I'm going to try to get the oiling system, which in the case of this is just an oil filter relocation. Uh, I'm going to try to finish off the power steering system. Uh, I'm going to do some of the interior, meaning like put the seat in, stuff like that. Uh, and what else will I do? And that's probably all I'll get around to. Alright, so this is the uh, seat I have gone with for this. It's an NRG. It's a pretty inexpensive seat. Uh, the reason I picked it was because it had a uh, blue padded center. That is literally the only reason because it was blue. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to open this thing up because, you know, I just got it in the mail yesterday. So. Let's see what she looks like. Okay, so it has an almost uh, Recaro SPG style, I would say. Uh, you know, these are very reminiscent of a Recaro seat. I used to have Recaros in uh, one of my RX-7s, and I like them. Uh, I'm not in any way saying that this seat is a Recaro quality seat, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that it's styling is uh, Recaro-esque. The other components for the interior of the car is uh, I have a personal by Nardi uh, steering wheel. It's a very high quality wheel. Uh, probably the best bang for the buck steering wheel you can get and I like that. Uh, on the back of it, it has a quick release and something of a long uh, mounting hub, like boss hub. Uh, that's basically on here because I kind of like the steering wheel close to me when I drive, so I'm just extending it out with this. You can get shorter hubs and stuff like that if you want, but I want the long one. If uh, this was a uh, deep wheel, if this the actual spokes of the steering wheel stretch back, then I would probably use a shallow one, but because this one's fairly flat, uh, I have the deep hub. I've got this little, uh, this little Nismo shift knob. It actually uh, matches the one that I have in the 350Z, except this one's black and that one's white. This car was an original automatic, so this is the shifter plate. So I'm gonna have to edit this somewhat to uh, make a manual gear shift work, because this, this just doesn't have enough space in it for you to move the shifter around in there. So I'll have to edit that a little bit. And uh, I pulled this shift boot out of an old Z32 and uh, it's black with blue stitching so that kind of matches so I'm gonna you know figure out a way to use that in here.
basically with these seat rails, I want to use M10 nuts and bolts, but I can't because the hole is just a little bit too small for it. So I'm going to uh, grind out all the holes and everything. So that should suck. everything for the interior right now. Uh, as a side note, when I drive the car at the track, I never drive with butt pads, so you end up sitting much lower like that. So, take the butt pads out, sink in. You're much more comfortable in the seat, and as you can see, I'm much lower. So. Probably move the wheel up a little bit like that. Yep. And that is a solid driving position uh, for me. Um, and yeah, nice. So, plenty of, uh, it's hard to see in the video, but there is uh, that much. So, I'm going to say there's six inches of room between my head and the roof. Um, a kind of standard thing for 240s is this piece of the seat will not clear the door uh, card. That's just 240 life. So for now, interior is done. I'm gonna actually put it all the way together after I uh, do all the wiring harness stuff. But for now, this stuff's done. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is work on the uh, oil filter relocation, which is, uh, this is a Speedway relocation. This is a Napa gold filter number 1042. It's for a uh, uh, C5 Corvette. Uh, probably fits every LS application, honestly. Um, so I'm going to take this, some of the fittings for it, which yes, I have to put Teflon tape and so forth on. Um, and uh, I got to find a place where it fits in the car. Uh, the place where I wanted to put it, the, I should say the normal place to put it is uh, on the passenger side of the car, but in this car, the uh, spot where this would normally go is taken up by the AC unit. Uh, so this can't go there. So I need to find a spot for it to go. Um, so pretty much I think it's gonna mean driver's side, but we'll see. I have to uh, sort of mock this up in there to get like a decent idea. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Here, this is the normal place to put a filter. It comes out of here, wraps around the oil pan, goes this way and is mounted here. But I have the AC unit right there and the power steering cooling loop right there. So I can't get it over here. It's just not enough room. So I think I'm gonna end up putting it over here, um, which is sort of not a normal place because normally the alternator's over here, but my alternator's on top, so I'm not worried about it. So I think I'm gonna end up putting it on the rail right over here. 
All right, so here's what you missed. There were some uh, pretty tight confines in here, so filming was pretty much impossible, but I will explain what you're looking at here. So, first we'll say power steering. Pumps up there, that is the uh, factory 240SX uh, fitting right there. Going to the uh, GM pump, it does fit. Uh, and then just a soft line from there down to here, which is the uh, just the regular cooling loop that the power steering does. Now, I also ran the oil. Here's where the oil lines exit the pan. Uh, and then they're routed up there. They're routed underneath the uh, motor mount. Right now I have them held down by a zip tie, but I'm going to find a better solution than that. And up to the oil filter, uh, well oil filter bracket and then oil filter. So the way that was sorted out was I had to weld three nuts to the uh, frame rail there. Trying to get a decent view of it. I had to weld three nuts to the frame rail there uh, for that stupid thing and uh, it worked out fine. Yeah, so that's what you missed. I had to take a million things in and out to get it done, and now I think I'm gonna do the fuel system next. So, I'm under the car, I'm gonna have to uh, go up and you know mess with the tank or whatever, and uh, put the new fuel pump in, all that stuff. I don't know if I wanna do it, it's getting late, but maybe, we'll see. I might, I might even just do the uh, fuel pressure regulator mount and then forward because the fuel pressure regulator uh, I'm, I'm sort of going to mount in the middle. You'll see. <laughs> 